Like my colleagues before me throughout this year's proceedings, I am part of the University of Haifa grad team and am extremely proud to be part of this team of fine scholars. I'm a doctoral student at Professor Amit Bernstein's lab at the Department of Psychology, and my research deals with how people attend to their internal experiences, uh, and specifically how difficulties uh, letting go of negative thoughts about oneself contributes to states of anxiety and depression. I have been fortunate enough to find an academic home here and a wonderful environment to flourish in. Our purpose today is to award the Carmel Award of Merit. The University of Haifa awards this accolade to individuals who have made such a profound impact that they have directly and indirectly touched countless of lives and made our world a better place. Our university gives this award to those it is proud of and wishes to bring into its fold. We do this with great thought to what we would like our students and faculty to be inspired by. Our recipients today are such an inspiration to all of us. Now, I have the honor of, of inviting Professor Gad Barzilai, the Vice Rector and Head of the International School, to say a few words. Good afternoon. So actually once uh, somebody is being invited uh, to give kind of comments after two and a half days of uh, highly crowded sessions uh, and the uh, excellent talks, one is pondering what he or she should say. So I take this opportunity first of all to welcome uh, everybody, the management of the uh, University of Haifa, uh, dear guests, uh, board members, and obviously the recipient uh, of the prize. Um, I take this opportunity maybe to talk briefly uh, about three issues concerning uh, the internationalization of University of Haifa. Uh, once um, uh, me and Gustavo Mesh, the rector, talked about what uh, should be done, among other issues, we talked about making University of Haifa more international. And I would like to talk uh, very briefly and shortly about three issues. Uh, one issue would be the international school. So University of Haifa does have a flourishing, uh, successful international school uh, which is a house for 1,200 international students from about 42 countries. The main two clusters are from United States and China, but we also have a large group from Europe and from other countries and continents. Uh, we have 16 international programs at the master level, which unfortunately are still ill-funded. We don't have enough money for scholarships, and yet we have a relatively successful enrollment in those 16 international programs, which are ranging from archaeology into marine sciences, into history, obviously Jewish studies, Israel studies, and you can see all details uh, on our website. <coughs> We have study abroad programs with about 800 students, which is per size of campus, the largest turnout in Israel, for short-term courses, <coughs> which we are offering, <coughs> excuse me, in different fields, um, which represent the activities of University of Haifa. We have exchange programs. Every year, University of Haifa is sending and receiving about 100 students. And we do have also Erasmus programs with most European countries in Central Europe, West Europe, and East Europe. And we are a house for hundreds of uh, students from uh, European countries. Secondly, the International School has established a website which you are invited to visit, uh, which includes uh, all international agreements which have been signed heretofore but by University of Haifa. 
People don't know, or you may forget, that University of Haifa is collaboration and cooperation with about 400 academic institutions uh, in different continents, in different countries, and we have established quite recently a, port a portal of a multivariate and bilateral agreements that you are invited to look into, and if you have ideas about potentially more top universities, uh, you are welcome to suggest. We are putting a lot of emphasis not only in the quantity of the academic institutions, but also uh, on the quality uh, of those institutions. Last and not least, an issue that was mentioned by Molly Eden, and I think also by President Tobin, um, is the issue of international rankings. So the Provost Gustavo Mesh has asked me to establish a university committee. And the university committee has done a wonderful research and we have produced a detailed report, which to the best of my knowledge has never been done before in any academic institution in Israel. And that kind of report is allowing the management of University of Haifa to have up-to-date knowledge about what should be done in order to improve the rankings of University of Haifa on the international scale. Uh, there are many other activities which we are doing to make University of Haifa more international. Much work should be done, but I think that we are on the right path. Uh, I will end here and I would like again to congratulate the recipients of the prize and welcome everybody to University of Haifa. Thanks very much. For the presentation of the award, I would like to call to the stage Professor Ron Robin and advocate Dr. Rial Shvika, who is not only a member of this Board of Governors, but a dedicated friend and supporter from France. Now, uh, it is with pleasure that I call Dr. Arnie Aberman to the stage. <laughs> Dr. Aberman will be received. Dr. Aberman will be receiving uh, the Carmel Award of Merit in recognition of his tireless efforts and accomplishments on behalf of the University of Haifa as the president of the Canadian Friends of the University, for being a dear friend and advocate of our beloved university, for his dedication and support, for helping us promote such important projects as the Ambassadors Online Program and scholarships in national uh, security studies, and for his great love of the State of Israel and its people, it is most fitting to present this award to Dr. Abraman on the state's 70th anniversary. Thank you, uh, thank you uh, President Robin and Dr. Shvika. I now call upon Dr. Abraman to deliver his remarks. I was told I have, I have three minutes. <laughs> I still remember the, the first talk I gave when I was appointed Dean of Medicine, I worked hard and I thought and to the, me the whole medical staff, the room was full, and I thought I gave a very good talk. And at the end of the talk, um, the audience applauded and a couple of people came up and said, Arnie, that was a great talk. And then a senior member of the faculty comes over to me and says, you know, that was the worst talk I ever heard. At which point, the host rushes to me and says, Oh, Arnie, pay no attention to him. He never has an original thought. He just repeats what everyone else says. <laughs> that, was, that was reassuring. <laughs> and of course, uh, where, where's, the, where's Pr President Robin? Uh, there's a story of a, of a couple walking in a, a cemetery, and they come up a come upon a gravestone and the husband reads it and says, here lies 
a president of university, and a popular, effective leader. And the wife says, how do you like that? They buried two people in that grave. <laughs> I, I want to thank the board of the University of Haifa and the Senate for this award. It's very meaningful to me. I accept it on my, on my behalf, on behalf of the board of the Canadian Friends of University of Haifa. We work very hard to raise the profile of University of Haifa and to supply resources to resources to, to the university. And I also want to recognize our executive director, Hetty Shapiro, who couldn't be here at this meeting. She really uh, is the reason why, if we have any success, that's the reason we have success. As you heard, I became interested or in the University of Haifa through its ambassador online program that combats uh, BDS, uh, which masquerades uh, is against anti-Semitism, but really it's masquerading, it's, it's uh, masqueraded as anti-Zionism. And I was happy to hear today that they've now been promoted from being an undergraduate program to having a master's program. So I hope to be able to support the program and other programs at the University of Haifa. And again, I want to thank all those responsible for this award. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Dr. Aberman. It is with great pleasure that I call to the stage singer Narmin Khinawi and pianist Mai Svadia from the Department of Music to perform the song Mechaka, Waiting, written by Rita and composed by Dan Reichert. Enjoy.
Thank you, Maya and Armin. Our second recipient today is architect Yonatan Golani. The university has prepared a short film about architect Golani. For the presentation of the award, I would like to once again call to the stage our president, Professor Ron Rubin, and Mr. Dov Kehat, a member of our executive committee who lends his time and experience to us so generously. Now it is with pleasure that I call architect Yonatan Golani to the stage to receive the award. Architect Golani will be receiving this honor in tribute to his important contribution to the development and prosperity of the State of Israel through national projects that expanded and improved Israel's infrastructure. For his efforts to settle Soviet Jews in Israel as a leading figure of the national planning group responsible for international aliyah, for his active participation in nationally important projects aimed at strengthening communities located in Israel's periphery and for training generations of planners with the understanding that preparing future leaders is the greatest contribution one can make. Uh, thank you, President Robin and Mr. Kehat. I would like to ask architect Golani to come to the podium to deliver his remarks. מכובדיי, הרשו לי לומר דברי תודה קצרים לאחר קבלת אות יקיר הכרמל. אני מודה לנשיא האוניברסיטה, פרופסור רון רובין, לחברי הוועדה לחלוקת אותות ההוקרה השונים, על שבחרו להעניק לי 
את אות יקיר הכרמל, וכן לדוב קהת, מנכ"לו לשעבר של משרד הפנים, שהמליץ לאוניברסיטה על מועמדותי. אני נרגש מעצם בחירתי וממעמד זה בכללו. נזכרתי בדבריו של אחד ממפקדיי הגדולים בעבר, האלוף משה בר כוכבא, בריל, הקשורים לנושא זה, וכך אמר, עם שאינו זוכר ומוקיר את גיבוריו, לענייננו מצטייניו, אין צומחים לו גיבורים חדשים. כל שעשיתי בתחומי התכנון והוראת התכנון בעבר ובהווה נבע ממחויבותי העמוקה לעם ישראל ולמדינת ישראל. על כך גאוותי וסיפוקי הרב. חייב אני חוב גדול להוריי ומוריי, לרעייתי האהובה צפירה ולמשפחתי היקרה, על תמיכתם בי לאורך כל הדרך ולידידיי הרבים בקהיליית המתכננים בישראל. היו כולכם ברוכים. נמשיך להתקדם בצוותא מחיל אל חיל, בבניין חברה מפוארת וצודקת. תודה.